Chris, what are y'all doing? <laughs> I found this bicycle in the dump. And when I found it, it was just like this, except there wasn't any air in the back tire. And I aired up both tires, and this one went flat immediately. So I know that we've got a leak here. We've got a hole in our inner tube on the front one. And the only thing else that I could find wrong with this bicycle was a little plastic on the little plastic on the seat start to peel. That's it. People will just throw away anything, won't they? And then my wife said, well, let, let's buy a new seat for it. Hell, a new seat was $13. Uh-uh, uh-uh. I told my wife, I said, we're going to have this bicycle for my grandson to play with. If he don't want to play with it. How y'all doing over there? We making us a movie. Oh, are you? Yeah. You got to watch, watch my channel called Doing It Cheap. You will laugh until you can't laugh no more. Yeah, I gotta go into work. I still gotta get in, and get ready. Hey, tell me about that little six shooter they got there for $129 on sale. Y'all got any in stock? Which? It's the revolver. It's a 22. Oh, the uh, Ranger, uh, Ranger something. Is it a Ranger? It's got a about a six inch barrel or longer. Yeah, the 22, the one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they usually have those pretty recently. Okay. So anyway, my wife says, well shoot, let's just fix that thing up. And we saw the daggum seat was $13 plus tax. No, 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 no. It ain't doing that. So, like I said, we decided that we get this so that my grandson could have it to play with, or if he didn't want to ride it, at least if somebody came over to visit, then my grandson be riding his bicycle and somebody else could ride this one. Debbie, I found this in the dump. Did you? Only thing wrong with it is a flat tire. Really? So I got it and I said, the heck, when Noah and them come to visit, at least there'll be another bicycle here for somebody to ride. Oh Lord, yeah, that's a nice one actually. Yeah, it's, just, it's got a little plastic torn on the seat right there. That's easy. And a flat tire and that's it. Ah. Duct tape take care of that. See ya. See ya. So I figured what we're going to do, I went to Walmart and uh, there's this little kit here, it's called by Bell, Stopper 500, a deluxe tube repair kit, stores easily in your bike for repairs on the road, a little 25 piece kit, I think it is around 5 bucks, anyway it's got 20 patches with it, can't do them like you used to with old hot patch, hey if anybody's got a hot patch let me know, I'd love to have it. Anyhow, it comes with a wrench, 14 millimeter and 15 millimeter. 14 fits the front, 15 fits the back. And uh, I was able to get one side loose, no problem, with the wrench that come with it. But the other side would have required a little bit more oomph. I had other wrench here to use, but anyway, 14, 15 millimeter wrench comes with it. Some little pry things, you know, to use. A little thing to scratch up the tube and 20 peel and stick patches. So, anyway, how do you do this? Well, basically, you just loosen the nuts here on the on the wheel. This has these little things that catch up here and, here and lock into these holes. But you loosen it up enough, you get all that free, and then you just lift the bike. Or if you do like we used to do when I was a kid. We had our bike set upside down, like this right here. Then when I got the wheel all loose, then I just lifted it off. Why are you arguing with me? Lord have mercy.
<laughs> I bet you I ain't changed a bicycle flat in 40 years or better. Anyhow, uh, we know it's flat, don't have any air in it. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the valve core or the valve cap off of it right now. Just get that out of the way. Okay, now, if you don't have one of these $5 kits, do not use a screwdriver. Now that sounds weird. Everybody's always used a screwdriver to reach in here and pry these uh, tires out. Screwdriver's got sharp edges, sharp corners, and they will pinch that inner tube. If you ain't super careful, you will pinch that inner tube. Get you a couple of butter knives out of the kitchen drawer a couple of forks or spoons or whatever and use the tail end up. Not the end you put in your mouth, but the other end. They're rounded normally, like this thing is. And you can reach in there and pull that tire up like that right there. And reach in there to hold that tire. Where am I at? Lord, I can't see. See how that's working? Then all we want to do is pull the edge of that tire up off that wheel like that. Now, the next step is get that inner tube out of there. So we just reach in there and grab a hold of that inner tube. It comes out just like so. And you get around here to where the valve core is, and you just push it through. Pull it all out together, and there you go. Now, what what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this to the air compressor, going to air this thing up, and see if we can find where the leak is. Also, what's not a bad idea is to go ahead and pull that tire completely off that rim. Inspect this thing. Look for bad spots. Look for rusty spots. Look for a sharp object. Look, uh, take a toilet paper and run it inside that inner tube, I mean that, that tire, and try to see if you find anything sharp, you know, like a staple. I mean, just a simple staple could have come through there. And uh, the reason I say do that, use some, a paper towel or something, is it a catch, and it won't, uh, it won't hurt your fingers. See, if I'm reaching through here like this right here, and uh, I'm running my hand in there and I catch something sharp, I'm liable to cut myself. Uh, the old saying, do as I say, don't do as I do. Anyway, you want to check, make sure there's nothing in, in that tube still sticking in there. Okay? Something caused this to go flat. It didn't go flat by itself. And it looks a little funny right here. This is all folded up kind of weird. So... Anyway, I'm going to go air this thing up. We'll come back and we'll see what we got. See if we can find a hole in this thing. All right. All right. Well, I went and aired up this inner tube, and it become immediately obvious where the leak was. It's right under my finger right here. And I checked and I didn't see any other obvious leaks. So I'm going to repair this. I'm going to put a patch over this little hole and put this thing back together and then we ought to be good to go. Just keep in mind that these patches there's 20 of them in here for five dollars, so they're a, qu uh, a quarter a piece. So all it's actually costing to repair this tube is 25 cents. Now, can someone please tell me why a person would throw away a bicycle because it cost a quarter to fix it? If you know that answer, please tell me. I can't wrap my head around it. 
why people throw away something in this nice of shape. If you, if you don't want it no more, hey, how about teaching your kid instead of, instead of just throwing stuff away, why don't you teach your kid how to do something like this, and then if they still don't want it, that's fine, give it, give it to another child that can use it. You know, teach your child how to repair something, how to, how to, uh, how to, you know, reduce, reuse, recycle. Or maybe you know a family down the road that maybe you know that they would know how to fix stuff. Say, hey, here, let me give this to you. Maybe you can fix it and give it to someone that can use it. You know, why do people throw away something that just takes no it's nothing to fix? Please, if you know that answer, please let me know. All right, anyway. I know that right here is my hole. And with this little kit, you get this little thing that scratches the rubber. The idea here is we just want to rough this up real good. We want to get rid of any dirt that may be laying in the place. We sure don't want it to be oily or wet. But we want to scuff this up real good to where when we put this patch on there, it'll stick. Now, this is a totally different type of patch that I'm accustomed to. This patch doesn't require any extra, uh, extra glue. This is just a peel and stick patch. So we're gonna see you know, if it's, if it's gonna work. All right, so I've, I've scraped the area quite well around that hole. And it says just don't touch the adhesive side. Just peel it, stick it on there. So. Just gonna peel it. Stick it on there. That's all I did. Just like putting a band-aid on it. And the daggum thing's clear, heck, you can't even see it. But the thing about patching an inner tube, remember, this is inside the tire. So when you inflate this, it's not gonna stretch out of, out of, real big out of shape like I had it originally. It's gonna conform, it's gonna go up against the wall of this inner tube or that wheel, not the inner tube, the tire. It's gonna go up against the wall of the tire or the wheel, and it's not gonna stretch any further, so. Let's see what happens. All right, I inspected the tire. I did not find anything sticking in there. I will tell you that that tube did appear, did appear to have a pinch, that it was damaged by pinching it with a screwdriver or something. That was not a puncture because it was on the inside here. It was not on the outside. So. All we do is we just stick this uh, wheel back on, or this tire back on the wheel, just work it on. Work yourself right around. You only want to do the, the one side of it though now, not both, not both sides. Okay. Now then we want to take that valve stem Line it up where that hole is. And feed this in there. Do that. Now, I'm going to put the cap on it so that as I'm manipulating it, I don't lose it. Don't get caught up in the tire. Okay, so all I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna walk this around. Notice this center tube has a little bit of air in it. If it's got a little bit of air, a little bit now, not a whole lot. Not, you don't want it all stretched out. But with a little bit of air in it, it helps it get in there and conform to that tire. I'm doing is just stuffing that inner tube into that tire. Okay? Go around it. 
I'm a little wrinkled right down in here, so I want to try to work it around, try to spread that inner tube evenly. Not have a big, a big bad wrinkle anywhere. Just sort of work around where it looks like it's in there pretty even. And now then, all I do is I just pull back on this to put this tire on the rim. I'm just pulling back on it. Making sure I'm not pinching that inner tube. I'm not using any sharp tools. I'm pushing that inner tube up in there out of the way. It's on there. Now then, I'm going to go air this thing up. And we will be ready to put it back on the bicycle and go ride. It's all there is to it, folks. So, let me go air this thing up. I'll be right back. aired it up. It's ready to go. All I gotta do is put it back on the bicycle. Holding air just fine. That little old patch is all it took. Okay, I am using the, the wrench that came with the repair kit so that maybe if I tighten it with it, I can also loosen it with it. That still doesn't, that still doesn't make up for the fact that I have to pull the brake. So, I'm not going to get into the advanced method of how to of how to repair this, how to repair the flat with the wheel still on the bike. As for whenever you get up there and you work, work on big old 26 inch bicycles, and you can actually break the tire down still mounted, let the inner tube stick out and patch it and then blow it back up. Well, there we go. This bicycle is ready to ride. I hope, uh, hope you learned something there if you've never repaired a bicycle tire before. Now you've seen how easy it is, now you can do it. Uh, there ain't a thing in the world to it, it just takes a little time. So, I took a bicycle from the dump. I put 25 cents worth of patches on the inner tube. And that's what it was, it was 25 cents. This bicycle is ready to play with. It's ready to go. Yeah, it's got a little wear on the seat, but so what? It's for kids to play with. Society nowadays has just gotten, it's just gotten terrible. You know, kids think that if, if it's not brand new, if it's not perfect, they're not going to play with it. Man, I'd give anything in the world if I had a cool hot wheels bicycle give to me when I was a kid. I, I wouldn't have cared if it had two flat tires and no seat. This is a hot wheels bicycle. It's cool, man. Anyway, folks, y'all have a wonderful day and a better tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> oh, as far as my opinion about this little kit here, nah, just buy the patches. Don't waste your money on buying this kit. That's my opinion. Don't don't spend five dollars in order to have a 
in order to have a repair kit. Just don't do it. But the patches are good. You can buy them patches separate. That'd be all right. That'd be awesome. There we go. All right. Bye. Let's go ride a bicycle. I wish it'd hold up my 300 pound butt. <laughs>